What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle. Today we're doing some more Yu-Gi-Oh openings. We are opening up 12 more packs of Dark Neo Storm. Um, in our first part, we got a very good secret rare, so we're hoping we can continue that with two big hits. Uh, I also, he's not that good, but I do want this Firewall XC Dragon. He looks so cool. They always pick a cool mech dragon for their cover arts, their box art, their pack art, although actually it's usually the same, one and the same. So let's get right into it guys. Let me know in a comment down below how your pulls are going and what you're still searching for. We have a firewall guard, guardian, not guard dragon, Saryuja's shackles, and then we're starting off with a chain hole. And then super quantum white, white layer. What is a white layer? Um, Alpha Call, Appeal, and then Handy Gallop. This thing is so weird. As always, guys, if you do want to support the channel, you can simply do so by hitting that like button down below. And if you're not already subbed, what are you waiting for? Hit that sub button. We're going to be doing tons of more Yu-Gi-Oh! content to, to continue. Alright, let's see. Goki the Blade Ogre. Neo Flame Val Lady. And then the big mech dinosaur. Super Quantum Mecha Beast Lustrex. And then a Psy Reflector. That's weird. Cybers Reminder Stand In and Dino Wrestler Marshall Enga. Super Quantal. Nope, sorry. Right. Sometimes I feel like the namings are getting out of hand, like they're unnecessarily long. <laughs> Alright, Salmon Great Fennec. Altergeist Fifil and Egg. Delindrous Dragon. Emperor Maju Garzet. Hmm, pretty cool. And then number five, Dune Chimera Dragon. Well, Dolce Teacher Glass Souffle. Stand in. Love this art. Big dragon serpent coming in from the clouds. Alright, no ultras yet. No super yet. Still a lot of potential here. We have a Crusadia Testament, Altergeist Haunted Rock, the Krelter, the Incantation Originator, and then Mayakashi Winter. Looks like an anime, or some kind of like anime movie. Danger, Feats of Strength, the Ice Mayakashi, oh, another Storm Serpent, Dino Wrestler, and Overflow Dragon. Come on, let's get let's get that no material. <laughs> I feel like that. I love uh, that's a pretty creative name in my opinion, and I like the art. I think it's really funny. We got the flame veil lady again, Morge Schlag. Is that like a German word? Here is our ultra rare in Valkyrie Erda. I'm not sure about this Valkyrie, um, the Valkyrie decks. I, I'm yet to see anything too good. We have a muddy drag, muddy mud dragon, then another wrestler grid sweeper, and ooh, another one. Yeah, the Valkyries, I'm never too happy to see them. Um, maybe they just haven't had their time to shine. But yeah, maybe they keep continue to add some more Valkyrie support. Eventually they'll get there. Cloudy and Aerosol. Dino Wrestler. Morchlag. Ooh, Crackdown, very nice. As far as supers go, I believe this is the only one that's really worth uh, pulling. Activate by targeting one face-up monster your opponent controls. Take control of that monster. While you control that monster, it cannot attack or activate effects. When that when it leaves, leave this card. Interesting. So it's kind of like a removal, but it doesn't really remove it. I wonder if you can use it for like for different summons, special summons. If so, then that's crazy. It just means like the fact that you can't attack is fine. Is if you can still use it for link summons and XYZ synchro summons and stuff like that. If you know whether that's the case, let me know in a comment down below. Because if so, that makes sense why this is a very sought after card. Especially for a super rare. We have a Crusadia Testament. Magic Musket Crooked Crown. <laughs> I like this one. Puzzle Omino, the, the drop and delete. Uh, Deus X Crawler. And then Memories of Hope. Fall, ooh, what is this? It's a whale. Amphibious Swarm Ship Amblo Whale. <laughs> what? Valkyrie Chariot Speed Left and Assault Sentinel. Hmm. Man, when it comes to being creative, that's uh, one of their weaker attempts, in my opinion. Kind of like that. Ooh, the Motorhome. 
there's a motorhome deck guys let me know i definitely want to see a motorhome deck in action and here is our next secret rare cherubini agron angel of the burning abyss that's quite a name hard to tell what's going on in this art and then a weather rainbow canvas so that one does not ring a bell i'm not sure how good of a pull that is uh actually that's quick oh man we we hit the jackpot on our secrets that thing's going for like 35. that is way too many cards too many words to read so I'll leave it here if you want to pause a link to and it does require two level three monsters with only 500 tech so it probably has some insane effects but we did hit two really good secrets, so I'm really happy about that. Definitely hit that like button down below to show the support. And uh, actually, I bet we might have one more ultra. Let's get that um, Ding Dingurisu. It kind of looks like a... I don't know how to describe it. It's some kind of big tall thing that's walking on a weird horse or something. Dirge of the Lost Dragon. Assault Reboot. Overflow Dragon. Another wrestler. And another martial... Uh, it's a martial artist, not a wrestler. All right, we got three packs left. Let's hope for one more ultra. I've still never opened. I've opened single, one secret boxes. I've opened zero secret boxes, which was truly painful. Never heard of a three secret box though. Fusion Destiny, followed by Whitefish Salvage, World Legacy Collapse, more wrestlers, more wrestlers, and then a Thanatosis. All right, wrapping up this first box. Yeah, we've been, we have a very strong start to Dark Neo Storm. Very much liking this set. Neo Flame Val Lady. I think compared to like Savage Strike, um, nothing is as big as a hit as like Phantasmic. Oh, here's our secret or super or ultra. <laughs> uh, but at least like the values kind of spread out to multiple cards, so it's not also all or all in. We got a World Gears of Theological Dermergery. Dermergery. Uh, I don't think that's a very good card. I would have preferred that exceed. I think that's a ultra. Yeah. And World Legacy Collapse, Solid Ogre. Hmm, not even sure what I'm looking at. Weird. Alright, let's go to our last pack of Dark Neo Storm. Definitely a monster of an opening. Two very solid Seeker Rares. Let's do this. Let's wrap this up. Puzzle Mino the Drop and Deleter, Magical Musket, Alter Guys, Fennel Flag, and then, oh man, another Crackdown? Wow, this is crazy. You know, as far as like getting like double supers, it's like, oh, I guess that's inevitable. Uh, but it's so rare that it's actually a good one, and we got two Crackdowns. So, definitely a very strong box. I feel like I always have beginner's luck with these uh, booster boxes, so uh, definitely starting off strong. We'll see if we can continue that luck in the future. So stay tuned for future videos of Dark Neostorm, and uh, yeah, let me know how your own polls are going down below on that, guys. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching. I'm Juan Turtle, and we'll catch you guys next time. Excuse me. Peace.